you cry in your sleep. I've never told you. Names half-voiced, gouged out of your unconscious self. It doesn't feel right to revisit it somehow the next day, but those names, I do think about them. We get up each morning together, briefly, toast, then you're off, riding an infected bus to that worn down hospital. Do you know, it's funny, but I don't miss you when you're at work. I miss you when you're at home, sitting shell-like with your beautiful mask-burned face hanging over your untasted dinner. Prevented from feeling with our hands, we're forced to feel so much more with our hearts. So I witness your struggles, an inspiring, unflinching woman with devotion too complete to be fully dismantled as each night falls. So I parcel up my feelings, because empty as you are today, you're still here. Of course it hurts, but others need you more than us. It's for them you don that gatekeeper's uniform every day to ease their journeys. Those for whom warm hands are now only a memory. Glue. That's what they call the few who hold it together for the rest of us, the fabric of society. But fabric, material, things, that's not what we need. It's touch that we miss. Being held by our family in a time without fear, in our bubble of home. The kids just continue. Questions crop up, but I keep our gentle lies to them consistent. Even though I know today might be the day when the virus, triumphant, slips past your exhausted defences through worn out protective clothing to cling to you, to end you, our lives together. We do not see the things you, a mother, my lover, our friend, do each day. You never speak of them. But we do know we miss you. Prouder than we've ever been before, perhaps. But still... And so we'll wait. Until the day you finally return.